Since balloons don't have engines, they need to be lighter than air to fly. We tend to think of air as weightless, but the molecules of oxygen and nitrogen in the air actually do have weight. A cubic foot of air weighs about an ounce. If you heat the air inside a balloon, the molecules move faster and spread farther apart. That means that there are fewer molecules inside the balloon, so it's lighter than the air outside. Each cubic foot of hot air is maybe seven grams lighter than cold air. That's why balloons are so huge. To lift a thousand pounds, a balloon needs to be about 65,000 cubic feet. In order to keep the molecules far apart, propane burners keep the air hot as the balloon rises. The only way to steer a balloon is to use the wind. The wind's direction changes between altitudes, so you move up and down to go left and right. When you want to go up, you provide more heat. When you want to go down, you open a hatch in the side of the balloon that releases hot air. You can't really tell exactly where you're going to land. That's why most pilots have co-pilots on the ground to follow them. So that's how a hot air balloon works. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works.